when we first got to the airport. I didn't know anybody here. I got off a 13 hour flight and I was tired. And then immediately after, I hopped in the hottest bus you can ever possibly imagine. I was tired to say the least. We were on our way to Belfast. The most interesting thing about Belfast is its history. It's a history of violence, segregation, murder, and war, covered up by such a beautiful skyline. In the three days we were here, we went on two tours, but this first one was brutal. I was jet lagged and sleep deprived, but before I knew it, we were leaving and on our way to Galway. Warning, what you're about to see was done completely legal and responsibly. None of this has been sanctioned by any governing body of Towson University or any of its affiliates. Well, okay, I may have gone a little too hard the night before, but I made it to go away, and that's all that matters. And this city was by far the prettiest, from the Spanish arches to the giant dam. But we hadn't come to this city just to sightsee. No, we had a festival to attend. See, I thought about putting the whole video here, but I felt like that'd be too cruel. No, but it was really cool to be a part of the festival. Being able to not only watch these movies, but also be a part of the Q and A's and even volunteer. I can tell that the Irish film culture is one that's growing rapidly and has so much to offer in the world film industry. It's funny because a lot of these Irish films center around religion and not being able to let go of the past in some form or another. I think that these two major themes are, well, a reflection of the Irish culture. Okay, well, you may be wondering why we're in some random city right now. It's 60 degrees out, we're all wearing jackets, and it's rainy. So, isn't it obvious? We're going swimming. I feel like Galway is where things really click for us as a group. We became better friends, and we also started hanging out with Sharon, our tour guide. We also met the coolest Irish lad in all of Galway. His name was Darius. But it felt like as soon as we met him, we had to say goodbye and move on to the next part of our journey. The Cliffs of Moor were absolutely stunning. And it's really hard for me to put into words just how beautiful this place is. So, I'll show you. So here we are back in Dublin, about 10 days later. It was nice to be back here, but also bittersweet because we all knew that this marked the end of our journey. After Dublin, we had to say goodbye and go back home. My classmates that were once complete strangers to me two weeks ago were now becoming some of my closest friends. 
We've been through excruciatingly hot bus rides together, volunteered together. Hell, we explored a whole country together. But it was all coming to a close. And just like that, I'm on a bus back to the airport. Back home. Back to reality.